Hi YouTube. I'm going to be showing making a video on how to <coughs> sorry. Create a logo for a website or for your YouTube account. Um the program we're going to be using is called GIMP2. You could download it off the internet for free. And using Google, just search GIMP in all caps. And it'll show you this website, GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program. That's the one you're going to want to go on. Or go to www.gimp.org. So click on that one. Alright, and you can click on download right here. And it will give you the link to download for Windows 2000 and above. Right there. And after you download that, this is where you get to make your logo. Alright, so let's get on the desktop right there. It takes a little bit to um, load because it's got a lot of information in it. Okay, so there's multiple ways that you can do this for logos. You can go file create logos and it gives you about say 20 one two all right 28 of these and you can cu customize them and stuff I'm going to show you some that are pretty cool or some that I haven't done before I haven't done this one yet so going to show it alright um, that's what comic book look like I think that's what this one is alright so then you could just go do another one um the one I have for my logo is this one, SOTA Chrome, and I chose this as red, and then I typed in my name. Oh, I put GIMP in front of it too. So that's what I did. All right, now I'm going to show you how to make it as your logo. All right. So what you're going to want to do is save it. And you're going to want to save it as a JPEG. So click on select file type, which is right here. And go down and select JPEG after you have a name for this. So I'm going to name it um, Video Logo. Alright, so you can save it there. And you can select JPEG. And most likely it will tell you this, it can't be exported because if you need to flatten the image, so you can do that, and it's now a JPEG. So, alright, if you open your internet and go to YouTube, you can go to account and change your logo, choose file. It saved the picture too, so video logo. Click on it, and you could choose it as a file. All right, I didn't click on it because I don't want that to be my um, logo because I have one right now. But most likely, it's not going to be easy to read if it's dark, and it might look small. So I'm going to show you how to deal with that. All right, so make a new one here. This was my first one. I had this one as a color. Um, let's do yellow. That's pretty small right there. No, I didn't even type it in right. Okay, so um, you're gonna go to image, and you could go to scale image. It's in like the second column, and the width.
this is what you're going to want to bring down if you have like a long name. But otherwise, you're fine. Like if it's just a short name. But for mine, I had to bring it down some so I could put it off and, and make it not look like it was forced in there. So um, that's how you make a logo. There's also some other ways to do it. You can make one in Adobe Paint Shop or Photoshop. You could do it other ways also. And um, that's pretty much it. There's really no end to what you can do on here. You, there's many things you can do, and I think that's pretty good for a free website, for a free program. So, um, there's a website that you could download more font from. So if you like didn't w want, let's say, if you didn't want the ones they have here, because they don't have that much. No, if you didn't want the one there. I will show a um I will list the link in the description bar about how you can get to that site. I'll list the link. Alright, that's it. Bye.